Hello and welcome to Hamsaw Tutorials. Today we'll be discussing blade replacement for the DC-22 and other dual column bandsaw models. To start with, raise the saw arm about 6 inches above the saw vise by using the arm joystick and pressing the confirm button. Make sure there is also enough room to open both wheel covers on the saw. Turn the key lock switch to the engaged position. This will assist in the prevention of the band motor operating while changing the blade. Remove the key from the key lock and transfer it to the blade tensioner where it will be used next. Be sure to wear appropriate cut resistant gloves to protect your hands while changing blades. Never wear gloves while operating the saw. Raise the sliding blade guard off of its latch and slide backwards to remove and to give better access to the blade guide caps. Rotate the console out of the way and open the drive and Ida wheel door covers. Move the blade brush away from the blade so the brush is not damaged during the blade change by loosening the bolt and pivoting the blade brush holder out of the way of the saw blade. Retighten the bolt so the brush remains in place away from the blade. Use an Allen wrench to slightly loosen the two guide caps located on the fixed and adjustable guide arm. Turn the blade tension key to the release position briefly to slightly release and loosen the blade on the band wheels. Do not hold the blade tensioner key in the release position too long and watch the blade on the top of either band wheel when releasing the blade tension to prevent the blade from coming off the band wheels prematurely. With an Allen wrench, finish loosening the two guide caps located on the fixed and adjustable guide arm. Then use both hands to push the saw blade slightly forward and out of the guide caps. Be careful as the blade will attempt to untwist when it comes out of the blade guides. Raise the top blade guard and slip the blade off of both band wheels and out of the top blade guard path. Carefully remove the blade from the saw. Note that it is advisable to have a second person to assist with lifting the blade from the overhead portion of the blade path as this is the step where injury is most likely to occur. Before beginning the installation of a new blade, make sure that the saw has been thoroughly cleaned cleaning the blade guard and band wheels, and make sure that all chips have been cleared from the blade path. Install the blade on the drive and idle band wheels and through the slot in the top blade guard. Be sure to close the top blade guard back down after blade installation. Twist the blade into position and insert the blade into the guide caps. Make sure the blade is installed with the teeth pointing down and facing in the correct direction. Make sure the back of the saw blade is located properly on the bumper block located near the drive wheel. The back of the saw blade should be barely touching the face of the carbide on the bumper block. The bumper block will help guide the blade onto the drive wheel. Check the position of the blade on the band wheels. The teeth of the blade must not touch the band wheel and the blade must not ride on the wheel flanges. Use an Allen wrench to tighten the blade guide caps on the fixed and adjustable guide arm. Slide the blade guard back into position and lower it back onto the latch. Adjust the blade brush assembly back into position by loosening the bolt and moving the assembly towards the blade. Following that, set the brush to make light contact with the blade. The wires on the brush should only sweep through the gullet of the teeth. If the blade brush is not set properly, it may cause dulling of the blade on one side and premature wear of the brush. 
Retighten the bolt after the assembly has been placed in the correct position. Close both of the band wheel covers. Always close the door covers before tensioning the blade. Turn the blade tensioner key to the on position. This will automatically tension the blade to the proper setting. The blade tension switch should be left in the on position. Remove the key from the blade tensioner and use it to turn the key lock on the control console to the normal position. On the control console's touchscreen, select the acknowledge icon and then select the flashing blue reset button on the console to reset the saw. Turn the band motor on to run the saw blade by turning the band motor switch to the start position while pressing the confirm button at the same time. The saw is a self-tracking system that will adjust the blade in or out as the wheels start rotating. Let the blade run for about 30 seconds to allow the blade to track itself on the band wheels. Then turn the band motor switch back to the off position to turn the band motor back off. The blade change is now complete. Verify that all safety guards are back in place and resume operations.